All right, hey, what's up everybody? Back and I built another food plan using the app called My Macros Plus. I do these for myself every day just so I can stay on track with my calories and make sure that I'm counting my macros appropriately. At some point I thought, look, if I'm doing these every day, why not throw them here on the YouTubes? Maybe help some people figure out how to build theirs as well. So if you find this video to be helpful, please hit like on it, maybe even the subscribe button while you're here. The app I am using is called My Macros Plus. There's going to be two links in the description down below, one of the iOS and one of the Android app stores. It costs like three bucks to use, but if it helps you hit your goals, three bucks, you're basically making money on it at that point. What a deal. I have no affiliation with the app. I just love it. So um, let's go ahead and start this up. Now, one of the things that I have talked about on my previous videos is that the mindset during like food prepping and following a plan is by far the hardest part of the plan. The numbers, one plus one always equals two. Your calories are gonna add up to whatever your calories add up to. Let me turn that. But the mental aspect of it is the most difficult part. It's the tricks that your mind plays trying to get you to not follow a plan anymore and to tell you that you're hungrier than you are and that you're not satisfied with eating the same foods over and over again. That stuff is difficult to overcome. And each day you will find yourself most likely coming up upon some sort of a challenge mentally that you have not experienced in quite some time. Or you're going to find that you're running into the same thing over and over every single day and it's going to start to wear you down. So, you know, just be aware that when it comes to succeeding uh, on a long term, you know, anybody can follow a plan for a few days. But to really be successful and do it for a longer period of time you have to be able to sort of overcome those mental hurdles that come along with doing food plans. For myself, today um, was a little bit interesting because uh, I have a three-step system on most times whenever I'm building my plans. And, and the first step is you put in your daily staples. These are things that are basically the same thing every day. But the second step is you put in your cravings. So if you find yourself craving something in particular on a day or whatever it is, Put that, that, that craving into your plan before you actually build your plan because if you try to build this wonderful healthy plan first, you're going to basically build it out and get to the end and feel guilty about putting a, a ding dong at the end of it. You're not going to do it and then you're going to feel like you deprived yourself. So I prefer to put the cravings in before you actually build your food plans. But like today, I had a craving. Most days I don't, but today I actually did and if we look at my plan here, I'm going to go down to my craving. It was cereal, and I have this craving for a particular type of cereal probably once or twice a month. Um, it's an old person cereal, Raisin Nut brand. I think it's literally, it sounds like an old person cereal even, but the, the problem with cereal is it's so high in calories, and that's why I don't do it very often. It's more of like a treat for me. I put it in here as my dinner, but if you look at this, one bowl of cereal, four ounces of the cereal, and two ounces of low-fat milk was still almost 1,000 calories. So mentally, I know that by putting this into my plan a day, 1,000 calories, I only get 2550 calories a day. 1,000 calories on one meal, that's a huge chunk of my calorie intake. That's almost like 40%, I guess. Uh, da, 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 seems like about 40% on one meal. So I, I have now put myself into a pickle, so to speak, by intentionally putting in a craving, which was going to eat up, no pun intended, a lot of my calories for the day. So I have to now be aware of that as I build the rest of my plan. So the mental aspect of that is different. If I had no cravings, I would just be building my plan as normal. But now I go into the rest of my day, the plan that I am building, knowing that I just basically threw a thousand calories out the window and I am down to 1500 left for the day. So let's take a quick look at what I have done today and then we'll finish it up together. So uh, you can see down here at the bottom, I have my two staples, my pre and my post workout. I try to put these in every single day. Some days I mix things up, but my step one of my three step system is try to find staples and put them in every single day. That's a whey protein drink on each of these and then some gummy bears. By the way, my whey protein of choice right now, it's a whey isolate by a company called IsoPure. I love it because it blends fantastically into water. And for me, the blending is just as important as the taste. If something tastes good, but it's got a bunch of bubbles and like, air pockets in it and it's like thick and uh, I can't do it. I'll throw it away. So I love this because it blends well. I'll put a link in the description down below to that on Amazon if you're interested as well. So for lunch, what I've done here, I did one wrap, which I do almost every single day at this point. This is with some deli turkey. I put one slice of mild cheddar cheese on it, 
And they put a little bit of yogurt ranch. It's like a salad dressing, but to me, salad dressing can go on anything. It still tastes like ranch. And I had three turkey meatballs, which I had made earlier in the week, that basically were like three leftover that I needed to eat so they didn't go bad. So just kind of a random random few meatballs, and they're gone. So the dinner, again, there's the cereal. And that's all that I've got on here already, right? I, I mean, I've only got 962 calories remaining, and I really didn't have very much food on here. Again, that cereal really um, uh, knocks out a lot of those calories. So let's go ahead and build the rest of this together. Again, if we look at the numbers at the top, where are we? We have to think about this on a, from a mental perspective as well as a mathematical perspective. I have almost 1,000 calories remaining that I can still use. Um, if we look at the actual macros at the top, I've done a very good job on my carbs and, and knocking those down. That's mostly because of that cereal. But I still have a lot of protein and a lot of fat to go. I want to concentrate here on the protein and knocking that down more so than the fat. So I need to be thinking 1,000 more calories. Let's try to stay f uh, protein and fat heavy. Try to stay away from the carbs if possible. So anytime I'm thinking about protein, I'm thinking about stuff like uh, the, the turkey that I've got in the, the, the fridge. So let's go ahead and go back to that turkey. Uh, I've got a lot of it, and let's say we're yeah, Prima Della Turkey. This is the brand that I get. Let's do a solid five more ounces for a snack, and we'll put that there. We'll go ahead and put that on a plain wellness wrap. That's got minimal. It's got 15 grams of of carbs, but that's okay. Now here's what's interesting. I just basically wiped out most of the protein that I have remaining. I've only got 18 grams of protein left now, but look at my fat. My fat is way off. So now I need to be thinking, I've still got 737 calories remaining. How can I fill that with fat? Well, let me think of like fat heavy foods. How about some guacamole that I can put onto my wrap? One cup or one of these little snack cups of guacamole is 11 grams of fat. And so I'm not just gonna do one. I love guacamole, that works out in my favor. Let's do two of them. Let's make it a real sloppy type of wrap with that turkey. So let's put two of them. That's gonna knock out 22 more grams of carbs. I'm down to 477 calories remaining. And I still need some more fat when it comes down to it. I've got a little bit of mixed nuts in there. Those are those planters mixed nuts. Those are gonna be heavy on fat. And by the way, I know this stuff because I've been doing this for a while, like what's got what in it. Yeah, and that's what's kind of cool about building these plans. You be, your relationship with what the food actually contains gets better. You can tell me now most of this food, and I'll tell you basically the macros that it's got. In it. It's just a nice perk to doing this consistently every day is you learn actually what it is that you're eating. So let's put that mixed nuts in there. Let's do how about 30 grams. That feels about right, and that's probably about all that I've got in there anyways. That's going to give me 16 more gr grams of fat. And now here's what's interesting. Just by adding in a few of those things here, one wrap with a bunch of guacamole and mixed nuts, I knocked down my, my uh, overall calories significantly. And again, my numbers at the top, 295 calories remaining. And if you've watched my previous videos, my target every single day is not to try to use up all of my calories. I want to just be less than 300 left over. Well, 295 fits the bill. Barely, but it fits the bill. Um, you know, I, could, I still got a little bit more fat and a little bit more protein that I could go through. Even if I wanted to do something like this, how about if I throw in, oh, you know what? I realized earlier today I had um, some Quest protein chips. And so that's going to change my numbers a little bit. I forgot to put that on there. Let's see what that does. So now I'm over on my protein and my calories are 159 total uh, great. Uh, 159 calories remaining. So the mindset of today was a little bit different. The, the craving that I knew that I was going to put in changed, one, the amount of food that I was going to be able to eat today. A thousand calories in one sitting means less food that I'm going to have throughout the day, which means I'm probably going to be hungrier throughout the day in between meals. So, you know, I tried to wait for, until I ate my first meal until after 12 o'clock. That way, the time that I start eating to the time that I ended was smaller. If I started eating at like eight or nine in the morning, and then didn't go to bed until midnight, it's a long time to be hungry. So I waited a little bit whenever I started my meals for today. And there's a little bit more fat that I could try to peel off here, but ultimately because my calories looks good, I'm done with it. So the mindset again today, a little bit different than other days, that craving changed some stuff, but that's kind of one of the cool things about all of this is it's easy to feel like the food is controlling you, but ultimately you've got the control. You can move the pieces around the way that you want to piece them together. 
Again, one plus one is always going to equal two. It's the mental part of it that's the hardest part to overcome. So again, the app is called My Macros Plus. Links are going to be in the description down below. If this was helpful, please hit like on it, maybe even the subscribe. I do these videos every single day. Thanks so much for watching. I got some nuts and another giant wrap with <laughs> slathered with guacamole that I've got to eat. So peace out. Thanks you all so much for watching. We'll see you on tomorrow's video.